What is up guys? We are here with another new scary game. It's kind of like a month old. It's called Oxide Room 104. I talked about playing this and we are finally getting around to it. Story, I bought this game and I bought Phobia around the same time. I bought this game online and then I went to GameStop in store and I found Phobia. I bought both of them and then I put in Phobia first and I just got so hooked on that game that I just had to finish it. Now that we are done with Phobia, though, we are moving on to Oxide, and I'm very excited to play this game. I've been waiting to play this game for a whole month, so without further ado, I hope that you guys enjoy this new series, and you enjoy this game with me, and I cannot wait to play it, so I will see you guys there. All right, we are here. It looks like we got knocked out. We are start. We are. Uh... Oh my gosh, we're in a bathtub. Oh, where am I? My mat. My head. Oh, dang! This dude is messed up. Hey, yeah, what is that? Oh, is that like. I don't even know the name for the word. Oh shit. Get up, bro. I can hardly stand up. You're good, you're good. Where the hell am I? The motel. And that man. But how did I get here? And how did I get so banged up? That dude fucked you up, bro. What do you mean? I have to get right. out of here. I've never written, so if anyone reads this, I hope you don't judge me too quickly. It's always seemed interesting to me to talk about what happens to me and my adventures to investigate. But I never had the time for it. Now it's what I have the time have the most of. Time to look up at the sky, and why not? To write. Also, since I came to the hotel, I haven't done anything, and I think it's time to find myself some pastimes. I've been at this motel for several months now, although I started exploring its floors out of sheer boredom at first, I can't deny that I've grown more curious about its past. My curiosity peaked when I found a room that wasn't on the floor plan. So far I know there are 37 rooms in the motel, 3 more than in the building's blueprints. Why didn't anyone know about this? It could be a good time for my second hobby, writing. Cotton towels. They look a little dirty. 373, three. alright, let's remember that name. I mean number. It's a name. Clean ashtray, an empty toilet roll, toilet paper, fluffy, a metal canister, electric socket. Some objects such as chests can contain items. Go to examine inventory to use them. Toilet paper, fluffy, fat salts, a metal canister, fat salts. I can kind of interact rusted. with everything. That's cool. It's locked. Locked. What am I doing here? I remember traveling in my partner's car to that old motel, but I can't remember anything else. It's as if my head is going to explode. My wrists and ankles are on fire. I can't understand anything. What about my partner, Josh? And that woman? 
I can at least remember getting rid of that damn phone, but it wouldn't be half bad if I got to make a phone call now. Aren't I Matt and I'm writing? It's like I have to get out of here. Cotton towns, a metal canister. Alright, so I gotta let me uh It's locked. How do I open this thing? Alright, let's go to this one. This is the 373. It won't open. It won't open. It was 373, wasn't it? It's locked, but it doesn't seem very sturdy. I think I can get it open. Oh, we're getting Shit. it open. Oh! Did he just hit his head on the bathtub? Oh. Oh. Nah, we're good. Oh, that hurts. Nah, you're you're fine, dude. Are those my clothes? Uh, I'm bleeding. Oh! Oh! So much blood. Oh, fuck. Some action may cause Matt to bleed. Hills wounds quickly. It may not. If not, this may be irreversible. Cotton towns, toilet paper, fluffy, but cat salts. The bottle at salts. Uh, the bottle looks rusty. My clothes. No, we don't. All right, no, get off the clothes. I need. Okay, ah, uh, get out of there, bro. We are dying. Looks like the key to the bathroom door. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. I don't have anything to like. Cotton towels. They look a little dirty. It's locked. Come on, open the door. We need to go get something. I don't think there's anything in here to heal what? us. What the hell? Yo, what is that? Oh, fuck. There's no Shit. way, dude. I'm about to die already. What the hell? Oh, what is the hell is that? Here? What the fuck is that thing? Yo, Come kick on. it, bro. <sighs> Shit. Oh, uh -oh. What is the, oh my god, I'm dead. Wait a minute. Did this? Yeah, I just died already. I don't understand what I did wrong. Oh, I'm not dead, but... It looks like you've met Eva. She's quite the hunter. That's Eva? She loves the smell of blood. Oh, so I did fuck up because I hit be my head. Honest, I don't expect much of you. You won't say Can't you do it better? How is it that you get the smallest scratch and you bleed to death? And then we have to start everything from the beginning. Yo. I know you're useless, but at least try to not make it so noticeable. Try harder next time. Agreed? Alright, I got you, bro. Well, let's get to work. I'll do better. Any this research. Time. If you repeat the same experiment, but I change in any of the variables, you most likely get the same results. So, let's make some modifications. Don't worry. You'll only feel a small pinch. Oh, God. Oh, 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 shut up! Oh, my God, oh, my God. Yo, a small pinch, bro, a small pinch. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, that's disgusting. I can't stand that stuff. I'm gonna bleed out in this bathtub. Wait, I'm not even missing my leg. Where am I? My head. So if I die, if I fuck up, I just have to restart. Like, that's what's happening here. So I need to find stuff to heal my head before I open that thing. Shit. All 
All right, let's do better this time, guys. A metal canister. I don't know what's inside. A metal yeah, canister. It, I don't know what that salts. The bottle looks rusty. A glass bottle. There's nothing in there. Fat salts. The bottle looks fat salts. The bottle looks rusty. Fat salts. The bottle looks rusty. An old wash bowl with some dish towels. A metal canister. I An empty toilet. Fat salts. The bottle looks rusty. A metal canister. It looks like a bar of soap. I'm not going back in there. So there's really nothing to heal my head wound. Fat salts. The A metal canister. I don't know what's inside. Yo! Looks like there's something shiny at the bottom. It's not working. Did I just hear there's something shiny? Oh, he's just about to. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, fuck. This is disgusting. You're the one that pissed in there, bro. And what's this small key? Can I wash my hands, please? Please. Oh, that was gross, dude. Cotton towels. They look a little dirty. There's my sneakers. My clothes. My clothes. Can I pick up my sneakers, too, while I'm at it? Already, oh, we already grabbed them. Okay. Fat salts. The bottle looks rusty. Fat salts. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Fluffy, but kind of dirty. A small lockpick. Oh, I don't... Towns. They look a little dirty. I don't get the stuff that was in here before. I lost that stuff, I guess. Is it in storage? No, it's gone. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell? Uh-oh. Looks comfortable. Now's not the time, bro. What did I just pick up? Pocket flashlight? Who am I? My name is Matthew G. I was born in the United States. Shortly after my parents died, I was taken to the UK while I was still a boy. Grew up in a small town on the coast where it seemed like some of my family had once lived. That place was completely dead. As soon as I could, I left and never went back. I haven't stopped since then. I've always been a restless person with my work. I've been all over Europe, also meeting some very well-off people. You can say things are going well for me. I work with currencies, assets, things like that, and I have odd jobs as a programmer, whatever I need to do to get by. A ceramic vase. Is that bread? Yeah. Oh, nice. I have to get out of this room. Yo, is this like an escape room thing? Oh, no, 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 no. Looks comfortable. I'm not opening that door. It won't open. It looks like this was lit just a bit ago. Pain. Okay. It's locked. It seems like no water comes out of here. Kill, kill. Bro. And my partner, I haven't known Josh for long. He's a very peculiar person. Honestly, I've never really liked him all that much, if I'm honest. I like him as much as a swift kick to the balls, but what are you going to do? He does a great job making buckets of money. A clean ashtray. A few jars and cans. I prefer not to take them. Looks like some kind of liquor. It won't open. It won't open. I don't want to open this door. Oh, wait. I oh, know, it's just regular storage. It's locked. 
I don't think that's going to work. No, the, the lockpick wouldn't work. Interesting that the lockpick wouldn't work on the, you know, the lock. Oh, locked in again. I have to. It won't open. Are you sure I can't use the lockpick? I don't think that's going to work. It's locked tight. Is that blood? Yes, that is blood, Matt. Alright, let's see. What do I need? It won't open. I don't think I'm getting much hints here either. Oh, wait a minute. I don't even know if I want to go out here. There was definitely something shaking on this door. Oh, I'm outside. Hey! Oh! Nah, don't what? go near her. What the hell? Oh, no. What? Shit. Bro, it's time to run, dude. What the hell oh. is going on here? Yo, what in the world? Damn! Come on, 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 come on! No, don't shut the door on me, bro. Let me in. Shit! Come on! We're just gonna not block the door. I'm not opening that. Are you crazy? That's a toy giraffe. What you got for me? Oh, let's go. Let's go. Alright, we're good. We have a weapon. What is, was that heels? Are those, yeah, it is. Since I arrived, this motel has always been going through renovations. I'm not quite sure who's managing it or what they're doing exactly. Honestly, it always looks the same to me. Well, there's been a change, but for the worst. Since they started working in the pool area, it's been almost impossible to go there from the common area. There's always something in the way or someone doing something with the sliding doors. Thanks to my investigative skills, I found another way through a connection between room 203 and 303. I think someone put this entrance there to connect both rooms. I don't know why, honestly. Another big mystery of the motel. I use it a lot to sneak off since there's never anyone there and those rooms aren't used. Eva. Do I have to like, combine these? Like, No. What is this? Oh, this is for poison. Okay. Give me all these bullets. Give me... Death is only the beginning. I want to die. I want to die. Why don't I die? I can't bear it any longer. I don't want to bear it any longer. Evil. It won't open. Of course it won't open. Why Why would it open? Give me the pickle. Is there anything else here that I need before I go out there? Yes. Oh, what in the world? A map? I think that's it. I don't want to go back out there. But I must.
Yo, chill out. It's locked. Okay, I can run. It's locked. These creatures are unable to see, but if they hear or feel something, they will not hesitate to attack. You can use your, we use your weapon or move by crouching. It's a metal figure of a turtle. Yo, I don't like those creatures at all. Weird things have not stopped happening since the accident. Honestly, I'm a little scared. Last week, one of the construction workers turned up drowned in one of the pools. No one knows how he could have fallen in or what happened to him. And some of the motel staffs where they heard screaming. I'm not quite sure what to think, but I'd like to. I'd like for this to stop. Looks comfortable. It does look comfortable, doesn't it? After the accident, I spoke with a few people to find who had helped me, but no one remembers seeing anyone dressed in orange. I've also felt like someone has been watching me since that day. I don't feel safe anywhere. I wonder if the person who saved me and the strange presence are connected. It won't open. It won't open. A piece of stale bread. Oh, fuck! Something pricked me. Uh, uh. I don't need this now. It looks like the key to one of the rooms. There's nothing in there. I don't want I don't want to suffer anymore. It hurts, it hurts so much. Why is he doing this to me? Blood guts, fingers, 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 fifth fi Oh my goodness. There is nothing in the teapot. <sighs> A ceramic vase. A ceramic vase. A ceramic vase. All the bathrooms are like exactly the same. Oh, let's go. A metal canister. I don't know what's inside. Toilet paper. Fluffy, but kind of dirty. Oh. Sorry about that. Um, all right, we're gonna end it here in this room because I already see how this is gonna go and I'm just gonna keep going forever and ever. <laughs> but um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy. I hope that you guys are gonna enjoy this series as much as the last because this game, this it game looks is- like this was lit just a bit ago. This, this game is gonna be very terrifying. I can already tell and it's gonna take me a lot of willpower to get through it. But it seems like this game is gonna be a good one, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one.